Jeffrey's so desperate. Like most young men, Jeffrey feels deprived from love, sex, and intimacy. He has intense, obsessive crushes on the girls in his class. Now answer this question. What kind of standards do you think Jeffrey would set for the women that he wants to date? Do you think he would have any standards at all? Or would he simply just take whatever he can get? You may have experienced your dating life just like Jeffrey, where you didn't get girls for so long till eventually when any girl shows an interest in you, you're ready to commit and invest straight away. And she's so perfect. She's amazing. But I mean, come on. Objectively, bro. She I, she not that good, bro. Adonis. Adonis has been through a lot. When he was young, he prepared ruthlessly for the rite of passage of his tribe. He impressed everyone, especially the women. Slowly and surely, he moved up the ranks and eventually he was promoted to tribe leader. Through holistic self-improvement, Adonis became the ultimate man. And so now, of course, he has the love of the ultimate woman. Adonis is a humble man, but he does respect himself highly. And so he sets high standards for his woman. My first kiss was at age 17. This is so embarrassing. So you want to know the standards that I've had for women over my life because I lived entirely like a Jeffrey. I went through my entire high school life horny as f lonely and I just didn't have the confidence to speak to girls in more of a romantic way but at the end of high school I started lifting weights I got more confident I was taking shirtless pictures and at age 17 I got my first kiss literally bro I had my first kiss at age 17. At age 19 I started having sex in university and guess which kind of women I was interested in? All of them. I set no standards whatsoever. My criteria for liking a woman, dating her and sleeping with her was literally just if she liked me back. Like if she wanted it, then yeah, yeah, sure. Like I'm down no matter what she looked like, no matter what type of person she was, what habits she was into, whether or not she was into fitness, which has always been a big thing for me. Literally just if she kind of accepted my advances, then yep, I'll do it. Now fast forward about a year and a half and I'm totally in the middle of my degenerate boy days. I'm good at being a boy at this point. I'm now attracting more beautiful women and I've definitely got kind of like a toxic persona of like this, alpha, you know, red pill, alpha male and i really remember my choice between these two girls one of them was older she was mature sophisticated educated and she was an international student from china which is kind of like a weird thing me and my friends were f boys but we always believed it was impossible to infiltrate an international student group because those groups were always kind of tight-knit and you'd pretty much never see those girls on tinder or in nightclubs which is where we would go to meet women at the time and so to meet this girl i did something different that was out of my comfort zone i cold approached her in the gym i noticed there a couple of times in the gym because we had like a small small gym inside of our building. She was small and busty and come on bro, I'm horny as f And so one time my dead ass just walked over to her and just asked her a f stupid ass question. Like, hi, excuse me, do you know what time this gym closes? Now bro, between me and you, I went to that gym every single day. I knew that that gym was a 24 hour gym, but I just like, I just asked the question just to speak to her. And she says like, oh, I think it closes at 10 PM. Inside of her mind, I'm just thinking, yo, this, this is stupid, bro. It's, it's 24 hours. But I'm like, oh, 10 PM. Yeah, yeah, yeah thank you, thank you. Uh, what's your name? <laughs> so I end up speaking, I get her number and we text and she actually texts me that saying that she actually saw me one time previously And I remember her being so different from like the university girls that I was sleeping with because I was around 20 years old I was sleeping with girls who were around 20 and this girl I think she was 25 or 26 and the first time I actually met her like outside of the gym You know we texted it's kind of weird as because she invited me to come over to her room or something and yeah I'm gonna f and it was like I could just tell she was not that kind of girl and she literally bro She literally kept a knife in her room like she cut up like fruit kept the knife there and almost saying like yeah She's got it for like self-defense in cases I try anything. I was like, what the f so at this moment, I was used to just seeing a girl and sleeping with her almost right away. Whereas for this one, literally that first time I saw her, she literally just kissed me in the cheek. So I kind of like closed this girl off in my mind thinking, oh, well, I'm not going to sleep with her. So I won't think about her. Days pass by. I don't really think about her because I'm sleeping with this other girl that we're going to talk about. And then this international student messages me saying like, I've ruined her gym life. She keeps looking out for me. She's like, she keeps thinking about me. She's getting feelings for me. I invite her over. We have sex and we start having sex consistently. And there was a problem with that. I appreciate you might not want to watch this video because I'm going to go into like some kind of vulgar detail details about like f***ing girl so you might not want to watch but it is kind of important to describe the kind of man I was at the time because the other girl that I was interested in was part of like my friendship group and we used to like take drugs together we used to go out and party together and after we would go to like parties or nightclubs or raves me and her would come back and we would f but one thing about this other girl who was like British I'll be totally honest and vulgar and like graphic details she could take dick at the time I was so into like this red pill, like, you know, I want everyone to know that I'm shagging. I'm a top shagger. Like I wanted, like it was an egotistical thing, bro. I wanted everyone to know that I was having sex. So it was like my objective when I was having sex with a girl to make it as like loud and aggressive as possible. And almost every girl that I was sleeping with, of course it would be like too much for them. It would be too painful and it would kind of like annoy me. Whereas this other girl who I used to go to parties with, she f impressed me, bro. There was not one single time where she ever like couldn't handle it. And so I was very attracted to that in like kind of like a toxic way. Where 
where's that nice Chinese girl? Couldn't. And so here I had in front of me a girl who brought many, many good values, who was so sophisticated. She had a different culture, but it was like such a culture of like respect. Like this girl from China, she would literally buy me like presents, like very like targeted specific presents. She knew that I like weightlifting, so she bought me weightlifting gloves and she was always so like supportive and so sweet. She wanted to take me out. Oh, fuck. I, I was a fucking dick to her, bro. I just remembered one time, like we had a plan to like go out for dinner and she said like, oh yeah, she would buy and she like dressed up proper nice. And like on the time that we were supposed to go, like I was just in the gym like not even taking her seriously and so when she messaged me like are you ready i literally told her like oh i'm in the gym she walks down in a dress like looking really nice and i'm like in the gym with my boys almost like just kind of thinking that she's like a fool like why does she expect for me to go on a date even though i told her that i would and so she came down hugged me and then she looked like heartbroken and she would send me like long paragraphs saying that she, you know she really wanted me but then she felt lonely and that she felt like she wasn't being taken serious i was a f***ing toxic little prick at this time man when i had this choice between these two girls compared to a girl who brought so much to the table in terms of like relationships value I literally just chose the one who helped my ego the most in terms of like being able to like let me f as loud as possible it really humbles me telling this story I hope you don't think I'm oh yeah Hamza's boasting and he says he's had sex with lots of girls because I'm talking about like a previous stage in my life I have a second YouTube channel which is linked in the description and in a recent video I spoke about my experience of not having sex for a month and I know you might be watching oh Hamza says he's not had sex for a month but I've not had sex for seven days but it's all relative for me a month is kind of like a big deal because I literally have an addiction to like the validation that comes from like having sex with girls so I went like over a month of just not thinking about girls not having sex it quite literally set my life down a very very, very negative path. Like I was onto some good things. I literally wanted to be like a fitness influencer. I had potential for it. And because I had this egotistical need of like validation of being seen as like the alpha male who f***s girls really hard, I ended up getting a lot closer to a girl who we weren't really that compatible with. You might have experienced this with a dynamic of a girl that you dated or that you can kind of imagine would happen, where it's kind of good just because you kind of laugh and you have sex, but you kind of know the foundation's always been broken. You know that you don't really trust this girl. She doesn't trust you. You're quite toxic together. You're quite like mean to each other in certain ways, and especially from me to her. And so I chose that girl who like I used to go to parties with. We got closer and closer and literally spent years together. And whilst I look back with so much gratitude and love for her because we literally lived together, like she was like my woman for so long and I literally like bro I went to sleep next to her for literally hundreds of nights in a row like if she was in my arms hundreds of nights in a row still to this day it's like I have this weird feeling of like my soul being attached to her like I'm just doing something random and I like I get like a feeling of her I've not seen her in like two years and when I look back I just think like no offense to her but I probably made the wrong choice it wasn't a good healthy relationship it's really important as a young man to clarify your goals in terms of relationships and dating this is a practice that could literally change your life so I really hope you'll take it as like an action step for this video. Open a document or grab your journal and just title it My Perfect Woman and start writing unfiltered. Pretend no one's going to see it. No one's ever going to read it. And just kind of write the ultimate 10 out of 10 woman for you. Not just about physical attractiveness, but about like personality, traits, family, habits, everything you can think of. You should write like multiple pages because remember, bro, your choice of relationships, the people you spend time with, and especially the person you connect with, and maybe even the person you have children with, that might be one of the most important decisions of your life. So it's so worth like an hour just spent journaling multiple pages about this. I did this practice recently and I stopped before I wrote anything I really just stopped and I looked back to these experiences that I've just told you about and you know I only used to think about like can she take dick like you know is she gonna make me feel like an alpha male is she attractive does she have ass does she have tits like quite like immature things and I'm so proud that the first thing I wrote in my current list of like my perfect woman was a positive growth trajectory I want a woman who so clearly is growing in the important things like her values her habits and her character I really want you to avoid the same mistakes that I made you should absolutely Absolutely set higher standards for the people in your life and especially like your romantic partner don't have like low standards and just think to yourself like oh but she likes me back so you know I'll, I'll get with her because I'm a bit desperate set high standards and write this list out and then the next time you come across someone that you might want to date you can kind of verify and think like oh you know what they actually miss a lot of the list I wanted this and this and this I was really attracted to these things and this person doesn't bring it and so I could get some level of instant gratification and you know like I, I feel lonely so I could sleep with this person but it might be better for me to just wait up until I can attract the person that I really want. Share this video with a Jeffrey friend who needs it. Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Mwah.